Okay, um, my name is uh, Connie Krasik. I'm a, a professor in microbiology and immunology, and um, I just started my lab back in April of last year, so I'm new to McGill. Um, I also want to convince you that not only do we have husbands or wives, we have kids and families, and <laughs> we do stuff outside of science. Um, we're not these, uh, these creatures that hang out in the research lab um, laboratories and are only interested in that. So. Um, when I was thinking of what to um, say today about my lab, I you know, was putting myself in, in your position where you are now, and, and um, mine's advancing as well. <laughs> um, why, why immunology? So I, I never intended to be an immunologist. I never thought I would be an immunologist. In fact, I studied uh, molecular biology and genetics at Guelph and thought I would be an expert in gene transcription and gene regulation. But, in my fourth year, I took an immunology class and fell in love with, with this system that our bodies have to, that are able to detect anything, any kind of threat, any kind of injury, a tumor, whatever, and respond accordingly and, and protect an organism, I guess, against um, any kind of disease. And what's cool tying signal transduction and immunology together is that these cells respond to their environment, they change, they differentiate, they travel throughout the body, they communicate to other cells, and all of these processes are driven by signal transduction pathways. So they're communicating within the cell, between cells, about what's going on in, in something much larger, in, in an organism, in, in this case. So those are the reasons why I find immunology um, to be the, the best discipline out there and uh, the coolest thing to, to work on. And what I'm interested more specifically in studying is this balance of, um, of the immune response. So in some cases, you need a very active immune response to protect against these threats, such as tumors and, and microorganisms. But if you don't have the right type of response or you don't have um, a self-limited response, you develop other kinds of diseases. And these are inflammatory diseases like <coughs> asthma, um, autoimmune diseases, and, uh, or, or just non-productive responses that are, are our, the immune system is, is responding, but um, it's not doing the right thing. It's not clearing the pathogen. And so what I'm interested in studying specifically are cells called dendritic cells. And these cells are among the first responders to any type of threat. So they, they um, detect pathogens and, and tumors and, and um, pollutants and anything in our environment. And what happens is they differentiate differently depending on what they see. And this differentiation program is a signal transduction gene regulation program that is activated in, in a single cell type and leads to a phenotype acquisition of many different um, types. These cells can develop into many different uh, cell types. And then these cells go on to initiate and, uh, and uh, induce specific types of immune responses that are capable of clearing um, pathogens or controlling injury or controlling information or, or different kind of threats. So I thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.